In the last video, we talked about my plans for 2023. Now this year, we talk about our fitness goals in 2023. videos back that was last year we set our fitness goals for the year 2022 and now we're doing it again it's a lovely day today last year when I did my fitness goals video I did the same route uh, but last year I just walked it and this year I'm I'm gonna run it but I'm kind of concerned about over asserting myself this yeah that's my tendency we will see Reevaluating my progress from last year. I'm gonna start off with the first goal that I set. So last year, my first goal was to fix my knee and be able to run. And did I fix it? Well, I think I could say 50 to 70 percent. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I was running just a while ago. The first goal: fix knee and be able to run is a check mark. That's where I studied in high school and at school before that's where I studied in grade school <laughs> or in elementary right now we're going on the uphill section now Last year was to be consistent with my strength training I think around April I kind of fallen off with doing that by July I completely stopped with my strength training but I think uh, what I did in the first couple of months helped in fixing the knee so I say it's 50 50 fail but at least I have a nice view here A little story on this section we used to call this the horseshoe back in high school we used to smoke here but smoking is bad so kids don't do that oh. well at least we used to think it was cool back then but then it wasn't hiking on the trails I think we went on two hikes last year so that is a check the river is green so that means it didn't rain in the mountains. 
or at least that's what my dad used to say now this part is a bit sketchy especially when there's traffic already so you got to be careful when you pass by this mini bridge bridge has been under construction for more than a year already I wonder when they're gonna finish this now I'm gonna talk about the two main reasons why I'm making a fitness goals uh, each year but first I want to briefly touch on my own fitness goals for this year and I'm just gonna list them here I'm not gonna get into the details of this list because let's face it my list is not important you guys have your own lives to be busy about I'm just showing this list as a sample to show you guys what what I have been making and what other people have been making just in case you're, you haven't got into that yet so why are we making this list One of the main reasons why we're making a list, a list such as this, gives us a set path, a plan, or a blueprint of what you're gonna be doing for the entire year in, in terms of your fitness. I found this to be helpful in narrowing down all the exercises and, and regimens that I will be doing within the year. In last year's schools, that was the case. If you can see my, my training schedule, my training log all of the things all of the exercises that I did were catered to achieving those goals and yeah it just gives you more chances of winning huh? <laughs> more chances of reaching those goals what I did with my list is I made five goals for my year but that's just an arbitrary number you can have as much as 10 goals if you want but I found out that for me five goals is a more attainable number and last year, I only did three out of five of those goals. Now imagine if I have 10 goals, so that would be three out of 10. And that would feel sucky. <laughs> Number two reason. Now the second significance of making a fitness goals list is to give yourself accountability. In my case, I'm putting my list out in the public. It just gives me more motivation to, to achieve those goals. You may have a stronger character than I am, but sometimes we have to put ourselves out there just to give ourselves a little more push. Now a third bonus reason or significance in making a fitness goals list. In my case, I tend to forget things easily. It's much like your New Year's resolutions list when you have all these promises at the start of the year but then by the end of the month it starts slowly to fade out that is my case with my fitness especially now that I haven't been able to do consistent running I need to write down these goals in order for me to not to steer away from my long-term goals. In the past year, it has been my fitness goals has guided me in what I've done throughout the year. And I'm going to do that this year because I have dreams. I want to go back on running on the mountains. And yeah. All right, guys. I think that's it. I just want to make this video short because I don't want to bore you guys. This is actually a reshoot of the same discussion that I did and it kind of bore me so I am doing it again. To keep it simple, short and sweet. As always, I hope you guys stay safe. Uh, you guys take care and I hope I see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye. And...